on the noble attempt. Bongi. Bongi. Yeah, it's Bongi. Bong, bong, bong. Welcome back. This is I Roam Earth, Earth, aka Left Your Lopez. Motherfucking this week, Lopez. I'm joined by the legendary mythical man, man. Bongi, aka Oscar from Sweden slash Indonesia. Captain. Let's just dive in. I'm going to just rock it like a normal conversation um, without yeah. further ado or further pleasantries and introductions. I'll introduce my bro, Bongi. Oscar, what's up, bro? It's good. It's good. Where where you at right now? I'm in Sweden. Sweden. My little apartment. apartment. But I want to be in, in outer space, too. <laughs> yeah, so we all. But, but I don't know how to do that. All right, bro. Hold on. Let me. I'm a, Let me come back to Earth, bro. I now I feel bad. All right. Let me just. I'm back. I'm back. My life's oh, normal. Rome Earth. Yeah. So, man, welcome to the the podcast, the Noble Attempt. I asked my brother to come on here. Um, we've known each other for quite some time now. Most of it's been, I guess, late now, most of it's been through, you know, WhatsApp and whatnot, just checking in every once in a while to see what's up. Um, I, I don't want to put a label on this man because he's so many things. Um, I'll let you tell it. Um, this is, I'll just say, you know, yeah, I'm not going to put no labels, but this is a rare, it's a rare individual. Um, just a beautiful man. Um, grateful to have you here. And yeah, you could tell tell me. I don't know how you would label yourself if you even would, or if you'd like to. Just let the people know who you are. What you're a, about. It's a hard one to label people that have taken the choices like like we did. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, like musician, I would probably say musician and uh, video. Also, I create videos. And uh, and a mixture of those two usually, right. both of them in one package. Yeah, but uh, most of it, I, I mean, we met in Indonesia, so uh, a lot of it is. I mean, I'm very interested in in uh, yeah languages and culture, and uh, that that sort of thing is is difficult to not mention as well. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean that's that's a different element to it of like, man. Let me just go straight to this, bro, because I I feel like this is this shows so much without saying a lot. I'm gonna do the little share screen. I'm gonna show this video that has your video and your music, just because I I got to share, bro. All right, I'm gonna do it. All right, I'll show you where to go. Nah, now it's now it's. Not. Datang dari kutu petara, ku bawa salju, ku bawa es Aku up next, kena cara ku hantar mikrofon macam badai Gajah besar, aku punya belalai Anjing liat, tidak punya rantai Kalau cari masalah sama ai Selesai Sementara tunggu nama ku naik Down, down ku bakal nge-fly Beat ku masak dengan bumbu ajaib Semakin hari semakin anjay Mereka semakin hari semakin alay Cetak cetak, fotokopi Abu-abu, hitam putih Hemat-hemat, tinta irit Pantasa mereka semua mirip-mirip Krik-krak, lalu bidik Habiskan satu-satu dalam satu detik Hmm, yeah, memang sedis Hmm, yeah, memang ngeri Ah, ku bakal darah dalam beat Pembunuh masal kecil GS 30 PKI I, 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 I kept trying to, uh, he's still there. Yeah. 
I kept it in my head, like, hold on, let me just stop it, not give him too much, not give, let him go check out the whole thing. But then I wanted to keep going because it's fire, bro. That, that so man. I, I thought. I mean, I I thought about it now that it's 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 a good theme with all the with all the black animals inside of it. Yeah, I I. I because that that's all my animals were black at that time. Yeah. Three black cats, one black dog, and the raven. I was thinking about about getting some. Uh, I think it was um, a otter, but I was thinking like it it's not gonna fit in because it's there is no black otters. <laughs> Uh, oh, and I had I had chickens as well, completely black chickens. Yeah, I remember talking to you. I had like three white chickens at the time, a white dog. <laughs> I was starting the, the the white animal collection at the same time. So that was all shot in Indonesia, correct? Yeah, yeah. All that footage. So I just want to take a moment to give you some praise for it, man, because like I, I was watching that recently and I, I was talking to Kat and just like, how old are you, bro? Can I ask? 26. No. 26. So I feel like, I mean, now it's a little more common. Like, there's, like, youngsters who are just, like, really good at things. You know what I mean? Like, in, in this generation, there's, like, you just figured it out. Um, but I'm like, bro, you made that beat. You, I'm sure, directed and shot some of the footage that you're not in and, and put the whole thing together, right, and edited it, all that. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. You know what I mean? That's a lot of things, and it's fire too. The 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 quality level is dope. And then add on to that, um, that you're you made the beat, you made the video, and you're rapping. And not only that, you're rapping in fluently in Bahasa Indonesia, the language there, which is like a whole nother mindfuck element. Um, so that's a lot. You know what I mean? That's, so I just like you know give you your praise, like man, good work on on just keeping keeping up on your craft and keeping, you know, progressing. Cause if we were out there, I was out there what years ago and we were just playing, we were making music and, and playing with the, you, you already had a, a foundation in the video and in music. We both kind of leveled up a little bit working together. Um, super grateful for that time, but it's dope to see like you just in the newer stuff, just get more fire and more fire and more fire. So I'm proud of you bro, for, for what you're doing. And I always, always be thinking about you and wishing you the most success in your path. And it's, I know it's not a, it's not a straight path. Like you said, when you choose to live like we do in whatever sense, you know, and seeking creativity first, you know, and maybe sacrificing some other stuff for that. It don't always look normal, but yeah, I just want to give you your praise. Um, I'll let you speak on it more. If, if... Thanks. Thanks a lot. But it's uh when 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 it's a lot of things like that that you uh if you want to put together like all of those things and you want you, you need to put a lot of time into all of those uh in all of those different fields it takes um, it's difficult to be efficient it uh it's like it's not a it's not a high frequency of of things that you put out when when you when you put a lot of time in, into all of those different things and right. it's easy to become become distracted like i've i've been trying to do so many songs recently and there start with a beat that usually goes quite fast and then the lyrics takes forever and then you've already listened to it for so long time that you just like you can almost can't vibe to it anymore because yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah and then and then you're gonna you make a video to it so it's like to find the the right uh, the right flow like to not overthink stuff and just do it the one step after another that's i think it's um it's, i haven't really figured it out how to do it yet. yeah that probably i mean i'm sure that comes with time too is getting more efficient at it also probably at some point you need a team you know what i mean there's certain things that you probably are doing that someone else could be doing you know what i'm saying that you don't really have to be doing um but you're carrying probably a lot of extra weight 
Uh, I remember just thinking about like you you're talking about like sometimes it takes time. And I just remember watching you record when you'd be at the house working on a song. And like me personally, I like I'll no, write my it, I'll, yeah, yeah. huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember. I remember you said no, leave it. <laughs> leave yeah, it. Yeah, because it's done. It's done. You said that. Yeah. Because this guy, like, I he I would listen, like it would be um, it's just different technique. I respect that I learned something from it, but like for, for me, I write a verse. And I hop in the booth, I might do one take if possible. If not, I'll chop in a few times. But I'm like, I get it out and I'm done. And I'm like, let's get it. I made a song, you know what I mean? And then I watched Bongi recording and this guy would start at, you know, whatever, 10 p.m. And he'd be 3 a.m. still saying the same line. in like, you know, just line after just different voice, different tone, different, yeah, different mix, different... And I was like, damn, it's, this boy got patience because I don't got patience like that. You know what I mean? I was like, and I and I respect it. Like, I, it, you wanted to find the, the exact sound you wanted. And I do now that I'm a little more serious when I record, I, I take a little bit from that. Um, so I'll try and give too it much. I, 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 like, I recently, like, uh, three, four days ago, I, we did a song and I was in my, my friend's studio. And I really wanted to finish that song there because he had like he had this really nice gear, and it, he make it sound just really good. So if I take like half of the song there and then I'm gonna finish it, home, it doesn't work. I don't have that equipment, so I had to finish it all there as well. And it just like I try to keep. I mean, I'm now I'm a little bit more. It goes a little bit faster, I guess, but it's still like six seven eight ten takes maybe uh, per like a couple of bars or something and then the next day i listened to it because i was still there and there was some things that i didn't like it's impossible to 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 like change one part of the song it does it never sound as good as the first take like right if it, like or at least the first couple of takes it, it can't sound that good again. It, I don't know why. Because it's like you you just repeat the sound of that line. You don't say it. Like the first couple of times you say it, you really say and mean the words. But then you're just copying the sounds that you have made before or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The punching in is tricky. Uh, that's why I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of punching in too much because it's like... It, it, yeah, yeah something's lost when you're just like blah, 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 blah. done yeah. Like, Wait, uh. yeah it becomes more robotic and, and less uh, not not so much energy after some time mm. it becomes uh laying bricks hard work right right just like that yeah and i mean of course there's so many styles there ain't no right way to do it you know what i mean but i i do there's a balance, but I do be the one to be like, man, finish. You know what I mean? Do do whatever it takes to finish and not overthink or not do too much and touch it too much. Because at certain points, like I look, like I listen to songs I recorded a while ago, and I'll still hear like, mm, I would have said that a little different or that word would have been a little off. But I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. the the overall vibe of the song was pure and there, and it's out as it is, and I'm good with that. You know, because I want to move on. You know what I'm saying? I want to move. I want to. I want to make something else, and not get stuck that's on. Exactly, one. that's the the most difficult step. That that part of the process, to uh, to uh, like just leave it. Well, when it's actually quite done, it's not a lot that you can do. Like you you can put more time and effort into changing, like to make things completely perfect, but it's probably not going to become any better and 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 i to leave it at that stage and like yeah it's it, it it's it's done it's not perfect but all like the soul is there like you just leave it there it's it's very difficult for me <laughs> yeah. but you you have you have uh, like released i mean quite a uh, quite a lot of things recently right like i drop like, uh, at least a couple of a couple of eps right i mean most since, recently since I, I, dropped a, I dropped i dropped what i consider a complete album 
you know, titled the noble attempt based on, on this thing is like kind of coexisting with this. Cause I've threw in a lot of quotes from the interviews from the first seven interviews um, are like interlaced throughout the album. Uh, so I did that. And that for me was a big deal. Cause it took me, took me a while, to, quite a while to finish, not because of overthinking or, you know, that issue, but I'm like, just finding the time, you know, having, having this, raising my, my baby girl Lumen and yeah. just being a father, being a partner and moving a lot, you know, moving is sometimes it's not conducive to productivity sometimes, you know, moving and moving and moving. But so all the songs are recorded in different spots and it's all puzzled together, but I got it done. So I was proud actually to, to finish that project. But I, if you, you say a lot, like, nah, bro, I wouldn't say. I'm yeah, but that, a but, lot, but, 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 but it is, but it is, I mean, when, when, when you were in Indonesia, like, was like you could you could maybe count it on one hand that you right. had re released right yeah so right do you feel like it it uh it, it gets easier like if you have uploaded like i mean upload is like actually a song can be finished of course before you upload it or something but but it is something in that step when you present it to the world like do you, I, I think that's Maybe for me, one of the things that's quite uh, where I want to perfect it too much is, is because of that step, or I, I guess. So do you think it, it becomes easier when you have like, you get the momentum, or how to say, like after, uh, I don't know, 10 songs or something, it becomes like, you just do it. I mean, I hear what you're saying. I definitely think, that there, again it's always a balance so like your perfectionism it's not a bad thing because you you're representing you're putting your 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 heart and soul out there like you don't want to come out bummy you know you don't want to come out like not your best but at the same time you got to be where you're at so if your best right now don't look like whoever else's best that's that don't matter you know what i mean if it's your best put that shit out because that's your best you know what i mean no one's gonna be mad at you for getting better so no, that's, yeah. the way I, that's the way I look at but, it. That's kind of that's kind of well, wild. How, how, how do you feel? How do you feel about when, for example, from the time when you were in Indonesia or something, and then when you started uploading like uh, your first five songs uh, or like an EP of of a of a couple of songs, and then the next EP? Like, did you did you have experienced that uh, like threshold of of like sitting on all your stuff for a very long time before that and then yeah. as you did it more like it became easier or i'm asking you i mean i i still got plenty that i never dropped you know what i mean i still got a lot that are just said that i didn't quite finish or that I just didn't feel good enough to put out or i'm or they now i feel like they're too old that's a problem too i got some heat yeah honestly yeah. i got some shit that I, I i i thought was heat at the time and i'm like no it's old now I might still drop it. You know what I mean? It's like a whole album sitting realistically. And, but again, sometimes it's like, well, shit, I put out the one I did and I felt good about that. I definitely felt like it was a more complete um, professional uh, operation. This last one, you know what I mean? Compared to Indonesia, man, I was just, just getting started, you know, just getting my feet wet, just learning. Um, like I should, I, basically nah yeah just that i i was just getting started and but what i did in indonesia what we did in indonesia um in that house so i should i just kind of backtrack for a little bit of story of like um we ended up living we lived with you for at least like four months and so it was just this house of creativity it was more than that must have must have been more than that yeah it was, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows, bro? Time was trippy. It was just pure well, coffee. Eight months or something. Nah, bro. Not even close. Because we, I know I didn't go through immigration bullshit that much, you know? <laughs> that would have been more immigration than I did. But it was, it was a good chunk of time. And we were blessed enough to have just a space in our lives and in the physical space to create. And so we spent a lot of time making music. Like, a lot. 
it could have been we were up all night or it could have been the morning or it doesn't matter it was just like coffee cigarettes and music and you know yeah. food food and good times and this and that but that was like a uh just like I thought, a what <laughs> time time to create the time to create i, I thought, thought there was there was something something that you created at that time as well i think Oh yeah, that and it quite possibly we uh, conceived Lumen in your house. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so we was making music. I was definitely making love and uh, making real friendships. You know what I mean? That like lasting friendships. Like brother, you're someone I, I I know I'll be connected to for as long as we're alive. Basically, um, just yeah. <laughs> so that's what it is. Um, I guess so moving off that of like that's kind of dope how like you can meet someone at a later stage in life like because I got people I grew up with who I'm tight with forever who are my family you know what I'm saying but like to meet I'm gonna call you random but it's random as fuck to meet a Swedish dude who makes beats out in Indonesia you know what I mean it was kind of random and then to find out that it's not just like random that your family on like a soul level it's just fire to remember that, like, just keep keep moving around if that's what you like to do, but keep being open to new relationships and new new experiences, because that's how we. Yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty open, like in 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 that sense. I'm very open to to uh, meet, meeting new people and everything. But that's it's not a lot of like, it's not that common. Absolutely yeah. not that that uh, we ended up connecting like this yeah it's uh it, that, that, it was very very nice it was very nice when, you, when we uh we stayed there there together because we had really like this um it was it was a lot higher energy i can say a lot more uh, positive and creative energy energy than than it was uh, after you moved <laughs> I, I isolated myself after that. It was uh, uh, I had this theory then that uh, when uh, when I moved back to Indonesia again, because after you left, I also left back to Sweden, right? And then when I came back again, um, like all of the collaborations and uh, a lot of uh, people that I used to be with and everything like they all went diff to different uh took their paths to all different kinds of places and i i thought somehow that we had this uh common goal but apparently not so then i thought like all right i'm gonna try now to completely don't involve or at least don't count on that uh we're gonna be it's a team effort it's it's right. just i'm going solo now like that i moved to this very remote place and i try to just lock myself in there in the in the in the studio like for more than a year uh, i think it was almost almost two years and i just perfected like try to just perfect making beats and becoming better at music and, and those kind of things but um, well now i would I, I can say that i would really like to have that sort of community again because uh, even though it was uh, quite productive being uh, being like that focused like that i mean it's it's more fun when you <laughs> when you when you do it with other people yeah of course yeah I think that's natural phases if that's what you want you know write it down or draw it out however your mind works i don't know how you how you like to manifest things but just write it out draw it out and let it come um there's phases for everything so i'm sure just as much as yeah that group that group collective energy served you this lone wolf energy served you what's your what's your mission now because i know from what i know like you go to sweden just to get some money and go back to like you really want to be in indonesia for the most part maybe it's sh it's shifted i don't know um no it's, it's still like that it's it's uh it's it's for the money but uh well actually i was supposed to just be in indonesia but then when uh, and and i was during 
more the like the first two like for corona sometime and then like for like i think it was like almost two years until like the july july like last year uh and uh, there was the first time when it really peaked corona peaked in indonesia and it became uh, like this crisis sort of like everyone closed the roads like they, they put blockades everywhere and uh, and it shouldn't have been a problem if you like in the immigration uh, like if, if i if i read the the letters that was uh, of the regulations for immigration laws at that time the newest ones there should shouldn't have been any problem but uh, the the offers officers use the the chaos at that time to like uh, yeah they, they they booted you bro they kicked you out they 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 couldn't really have kicked me out uh but they they started like uh how can you say so so i i went there and and I, I was speaking like just uh, honestly about my situation. I didn't I didn't hide anything or say like like uh, uh, because usually you have to you have to say that in the end of a couple of months you're gonna you're gonna go out of the country. I mean that's what you write on the paper. But everyone knows me there. I've been there for like so many years. So I just say like yeah, yeah it's just paperwork, but uh, I still. Speak speak quite openly to them and then there was one some some new guy there that uh said like so you're not going out so, uh, yeah well i i don't have to write i can still extend no man if i look at your your uh, file here like you've been here for for so long time like you need to go out and, well i don't need to yeah you need to uh, and I didn't need to. I know I didn't need yeah, to. Yeah, but he yeah. just, because I I talked like in that tone to him. He just no. I'm just I'm not gonna let this guy. Yeah. So he uh, he. Uh, they started with like harassing my sponsor as well. Like mm. they asked for ridiculous amounts of money. And then in the end, uh, they were they took my passport. They get, didn't give it back. So it was it was. Uh, over overextended like i had for, for for a long long time so uh i was i was almost being fined for like i don't know how many like thousands maybe of us dollars and uh, because they didn't give my passport back so then uh, then i uh, called like to a lot of uh, uh, lawyers and they uh, Finally, there was uh, a couple, uh, woman and man, and both of them were were high-ranking lawyers. And they said, "We can help you." And they helped me for free. It was really nice. It was they, they both went in together, in in, in the immigration office, and uh, said, "We are uh, we are lawyers of uh, Oscar Anderson." And they they looked up from their offices and, and just like, "Oh, oh, oh." Sorry, 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 because they, they they know they were they were cheating. They they even said to the lawyers like, okay, please, 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 sir, don't if if it goes to court, please don't mention my name. Please don't mention mm. my name. Like they were doing like that. Uh, were you you were with them? And, you were, you were there with them? No, nah, they 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 told me they told me they said you don't need to come. We will we will solve this problem for you. <laughs> uh, I thought well, it'd be funny well, if you were there. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah what now yeah, motherfucker I, like <laughs> I, I i would i would have loved to do that so uh so that happened but then because it was already already over extended i think yeah i had to uh, had to leave so then i ended and came back here worked for some time uh, and then uh that that contract wasn't extended. They needed they needed someone with driving license, which I don't have. It's super super expensive with driving license here. It costs like it costs like uh, two more than two thousand U.S. dollars. 
so uh, well I didn't got that and then then uh, since then I've just looked for jobs and lived from that money which uh, which I uh, I got from the first job which which I was almost I almost reached the limit from go, for going back to Indonesia but I needed a little bit more and now it's been two months when I haven't found a new job so now I'm back at zero again so I don't know when I come back I hopefully in like three three months maybe yeah I'm sure there's some there's tell me what's positive about uh being in Sweden my family and friends yeah mostly yeah of course that's uh that's uh, and also like when you've been away for so long time and you uh especially where like when where i grew up like with my my grandmother's place and i really really enjoy being there it's uh it's so uh, much memories like i don't know you uh you have so much connection to that place so much history there and like if you're just if you're just there growing up there and you live your life there and like you visit there regularly maybe you, you don't think about it maybe so much but now when you've been away for like so long time it's it's it's, it's very very nice of course that's a spe- that's a different feeling like you said if yeah. you never left you don't know how it feels to come back home like be home it's a different thing like we we we've been out a lot so you make home in many places but like home home where your like mm-hmm. body remembers it and you the smells and the thing it's a different feeling but like you said you got to get out for a while and come back to like really see that yeah and and, uh, and also it's 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 cool to see ice again <laughs> ice and snow I haven't been. I mean, I haven't been in a win- in winter since uh, I think like 2013, 14. Yeah, it's a long time ago. Uh, 2017, I saw a couple of snowflakes. Uh, I left in December that year. Now you you be out in a tropical place for this long, you like cold is different. It just be a little gust yeah. of wind. You're like, oh, it's cold. You know, <laughs> you don't even know what yeah. cold is. Like, it's not even. Uh, different thing so let's get back to then let's get back to your like your your i just call it your love for indonesia your relationship with indonesia most of the time when i talked to you or before it was always like that's where you want to be that's where you want your life to be you said if you have kids you want them to be raised mm-hmm. there like the 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 culture and the the lifestyle just resonated with your soul more do you still feel that way is it is that still like yeah yeah i i, I still feel like that it's uh this with the like having family and like to uh, you kids to grow up there like yeah i feel like i would like that uh but uh sometimes i i said that to my mother one time and she started crying you know and, and she like the it it is a quite quite a a big decision but i feel i really feel like that many t- every time i've uh, i've come back here um, it feels empty in many ways how can you say like where where the well maybe not where the society is heading maybe i think maybe like Maybe like all society is heading the same way. I don't know, but but here it feels like it bec- it, it becomes more and more normal to um, not be not be social or uh, like I think it was quite it was still quite normal normal to um, to have like a big social sort of sphere not very long time ago, but it feels like it become it becomes more and more and more normal to uh, be alone i don't know how to say like if you look at statistics also for example sweden is the country in the world with most people that live alone mm-hmm. yeah and i i i remember when i first went the, the first trip to indonesia when i was like uh, 19 when i was exposed to this like being constantly 
surrounded by so many people 24 7 for days and days and days it was very exhausting for me in the beginning and i i i tried to uh, sneak away into my room and and close the door and watch a movie or something like that sometimes but then after some three four months it clicked for me that this is not how how humans were were supposed to live like how how I, i've been living like uh, or not 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 supposed to but uh, the the normal state should that should be more social at least or like there should be normal to have people around you and then you're alone sometimes not the other way around i guess uh, or at least i felt like that it's so relaxed i feel all, every time when i'm in in indonesia i mean i mean i have not been to so many other countries so i cannot i don't know i just is when i um, make this different the differentiation is is usually between just sweden and, and uh indonesia keep that in mind first I, i had this picture that like most of the western countries were like that but a couple of years ago i went to france and i saw it's not now it, sweden is much more extreme it's much more it's a completely different vibe there as well like when you just walk in you, you go into uh, some food place you eat some food or someone there there's other people sitting around and and they just talk with each other without maybe have, have ever met before it's just normal to just talk like that you ask like yeah where where are you going where are you like where where are you from like oh so you, do you do you study do you work what what do you do like that you can say to whoever it's not nothing strange at all you don't go into this like conformed mode of like now i am a, now i am so now i'm representing myself as a social in my social mode here and, and then i can go back to be my my normal self or like so, uh, my relaxed self is only when i'm alone like that i feel very much like that when i'm here it's difficult sometimes when here in 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 the apart in this apartment as well there is some people that that um, we have had longer longer conversations but But then I get confused sometimes because there are so many people that doesn't even they don't say hello or anything. So then sometimes when you have been when you met a lot of those people, you you go out through the door and there's someone there they don't even look at you or something like that. You cross each other like here in the in the same complex, like in the same building. And yeah. Just look at that. Mm. Robot like this. I also become like that. Right. Yeah, like when you when you do that a couple of times, then you're like, okay, well, then then, <laughs> then I, I don't I don't like that, and it's it's then it's difficult to get back to it again. It's it feels really really difficult and awkward to to start the conversation again when how 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 I'm so, how how am I supposed to be like? I mean, I've been alone now for here here I'm I, I've uh, I've been alone for like four months, four or five months now almost like very very little social interaction yeah it's an intense difference man and i know i mean obviously the philippines and indonesia are different but they're also very similar like they're close and they got a lot of just similarities in the culture and it's a huge difference and i don't know i've never been to sweden but from what you've told me it's it's not just cold weather wise you know what i mean it's 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 kind of like just got a cold uh coldness to it that you don't feel when you're out in a place like this like it resonated with me when you said like you had to get used to it for a while like i think i'm still learning like where we live for the past six months to a year it's like very just in a regular little town you know just a house sandwiched in between two other houses and it took me a minute to get used to like the the there's no privacy you know what I mean? it's like it's not a thing like people you know and it's not it's not a bad thing like um boundaries are cool a little bit but like people to like you know sit on anybody's motorcycle or you know tricycle like you just sit on it like it, it, like you if you're yeah. in someone's house like people just sit on your bed like, like kids will just jump like it, it, there's no there's they're not people don't have the same understanding of possession and of boundaries and it's a beautiful thing in the end of the day like if you're if you're somewhere and your your kid needs to go to sleep it's like yeah put him on my bed and like whatever whatever it's just everything is shared everything is very shared and um that that uh familial thing like 
even I think the same language wise in Indonesia, like you refer to strangers, like here it's kuya or ate, like if it's a, a man or a woman for like older brother or sister, and that's a stranger, you know, that's how you address a stranger is, is brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. like by standard, by language standard, you address people as brother or sister or mom, if it's an older lady or auntie, you know, depending on the, on the energy, depends on the energy of the relationship, you, you address them, but it's always, you're always addressing them as a, Family, family member, member. family yeah. member. That's like, that's just a different thing. And that's not just a words, you know what I mean? That's literally how people live. Um, I mean, at least in but, the but, States, it's like, yeah, it might be like, hey, brother, how's it going? Or like, you know, like, <laughs> it's, but it don't always have that same reality of, of like, no, you're my family, even if I don't know you. Uh, but I mean, like, for, for example, some people here would maybe say, like, uh, maybe as a critique, they would maybe think, like, yeah, well, it's, uh, you you talk like that with people on the street and, and, and so on. But, I mean, how, uh, how can you say, um, like, can you have substantial, like, Maybe maybe people here would 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 have no problem with, uh, like, if you're if you're on a trend, just transporting yourself on the street. You don't need to talk with anyone. Like they would maybe don't have any problem with that sort of so so shy. What do you say? Societal. Can you say that <laughs> or like? Uh, uh, friendliness, but they want it just with their with their close ones. Like they want they want close relations and don't really maybe don't care so much about if if everyone is friendly on the street or something. Uh, but uh, I think it it does really set a tone when it uh, if it is on on that level as well. Like you just feel much more positive. It's it's very it's really that simple. It's so much easier as well to meet new people, uh, because you don't here here it's almost impossible to to meet new people to talk to new people because it feels like you are you are uh, bothering someone by speaking to them. Uh, that's maybe that's I mean maybe it's not uh, all people. I mean I mean I. I Put a lot of uh, shade on Sweden right now, but uh, so of course it can't it can't can't be everyone cannot be like that of course, but but uh, I think it's a reality that a lot of uh, a very very big part of Sweden faces that sort of everyday life. Um, Do you think people are like? Um... Are they just playing a role, and they, do they have like? these like hidden fantasies or like even just like subdued energy. You think a lot of people are subduing, like subduing a lot of their emotions and their, I don't know, just like, does that make sense? Like, do, do you feel it? Cause like sometimes I feel in certain places, even here where the, where the, um, cause I'm in Manila now. And so there's a different energy and depending where you're at, but I, I can just sense this, like, uh, like people are holding their breath like they want something else but they don't their society is not giving them the outlet to 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 have that freedom or to feel empowered in that freedom so i can just feel this pent-up energy you know that people have been maybe that's maybe that's maybe i'm wrong but that's what i be i be feeling like yeah i, I think i know what you mean i'd be but, curious uh, man like if i was out there like i, I, I don't know because you know i love talking to people and i like to you know i got a kind of boisterous energy i just wonder like would they <laughs> lock me up like <laughs> what they're gonna do with me uh, shit. no no it's it's uh i mean I, I it's so difficult for me to 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 uh, <laughs> i don't know what to what to uh, to say that's like positive or like to to Hey, bro! If it's what show, show the it's it's not it, because there is a lot of positive things here as well. It's absolutely absolutely is. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna just move on to like 
back to or move back to your to the music and the video stuff cuz i know you said it's it's a lot to put out you know work but i like you know i like whenever you put out work i really enjoy seeing it i like watching the progress the level ups um even just your little like i could tell they're like little kind of just little projects you did with like mifto or whatnot just like little videos with beats I, I like them all the vibe is fire so i just wonder what's your trajectory what are you going for what are you trying to what's in store well now uh, now the plan is to um uh in the summer i want to apply for uh for easy the the art institute for music in uh, in Jogja, where we live, uh, yeah. So so that's that's the plan now. I wanna I will wanna become better at uh, composing music, like to get out my ideas better, to uh, to like take uh, some of the ideas I have, like to fully like evolve evolve yeah. them musically because yeah. uh, I, I feel like i've come pretty decent uh the way the uh, like amount of distance already but but um, i need discipline <laughs> mm. that's probably what the the one of the main problems and i wanna wanna practice on uh, doing things maybe that uh, is required or to have some out outs uh, outside uh, will or or that's forcing me to do something i sort of need that to to uh, if i'm gonna have a studio and you know and like there is maybe some pro projects that someone comes there is maybe that, that pays me or whatever and uh, like those kind of jobs if i don't like the music but it's it's my job i mean i gotta gotta practice a little bit on that sort of discipline yeah i thought about that too like uh even just like with equipment and just being sharp with equipment because i've been leaning towards that too at some point is like having a little more of a studio setup that has like options for bands because i'm not doing a lot of instruments you know or this and that but i like to work with people who do you know what i mean i like mm -hmm. to for sure and uh, to be like fiddling around with the wires and plugging it in the wrong place it's like that's not a good look you got to be efficient especially if you're going to be charging <laughs> you gotta you know you gotta be on point yeah, yeah. i want to yeah, talk about yoga uh-huh yeah just because yoga is so fire and just like lights me up to think about it like you're going back there like it's a cool town it's like a it's a weird town in the sense that like there's like i don't know the number but there's like hundred hundred hundreds of colleges there's like a yeah a lot a lot of colleges of all different types um it's and i've never been one, to a place uh, number one college city in all of indonesia it's just like there is just a student bustling with students so the, there's good cheap food because they're students so they're you know the demand for food is high um there's lots of just cool people there foreigners and you know indonesians who came from all over to go to school and study and also just it's a cool place man so the creativity there is a different type of it's like a different wave because it's a unique situation so yeah he's talking about going back to to what is it ec yeah, in, and that's specifically me, huh? Uh, Institute Sani, Indonesia. It's, and that's like uh, specifically an art school, though, right? Yeah, it's 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 one of the biggest art schools in uh, in Indonesia. I remember it's, walking uh, around that campus, and it's just like you go in one building, and there's just like music ringing out, like you hear like a kind of like a, a heavy rock band up top, and then. On downstairs, there's like a grand piano and someone's singing and it's like next building, they're making sculptures and oh, uh, and I remember being a little bit like, man, because I never went to school for art. I was studying economics. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all I want to do is make art. I study economics. Like, damn, Cy Young. I 
just to see people having access to these like these tools, the knowledge, and then the the structure of it, like you said, like you want a little structure because it it mm-hmm. it does help you level up um, in a certain way. But I just remember walking around that campus, like, wow, man, it's cool. It's yeah. just so much creative energy, and and not only that, they they I know they probably do a little heavy on the like Western influence of music. You know that Western influence is crazy. How it's like dictated all of music but education that, that, that's why i i i want to go there uh, right because uh, they have this uh how do you call it uh, um in swedish you say a lion lion of, uh, of uh, the subject that you pick in university like if you pick music or economics or wh- what's what's that called Ah, uh, like a major. Yeah, major. Yeah. Well, they have one. One of those is uh, specifically focused on, uh, uh, like, the ethnic music from Indonesia. Mm. Uh, they do of like in almost all education. They do. Uh, they teach it through some sort of Western Western. Uh, because it's easy to teach like this, so it, it must be. It's very difficult if you don't, if you teach in um, another way. It's usually like more of more from hearing, uh, maybe yeah. not so much in notes and like that. And I, I I know that they do that there. I'm I'm pretty sure that they do that. Um, but maybe in, in some parts of the uh, of the study, you're, you're probably gonna you know do it with notes and the, that sort of th- stuff but i think most of that is by hearing and uh, that's very interesting to me i really that, that that's why one of the reasons why i chose it because i think that's a more uh, it's a heavier tool in the in the toolbox with uh, with a good hearing than most other things from you see you, you know it I feel like it's like more complete. It's like it's hearing, but it's also feeling. It's a lot more heart centered. Like it involves, I'm sure, intuition or maybe things they would never put in a textbook or like you're not gonna it might not speak on, but are transmitted naturally through like learning, you know what I'm saying? Like learning music that way. As opposed to like notes and things that I know are helpful. I know they're they'll help you level up, but they're like up here. You know what I mean? And then they get translated out to the flute or the this or that, but like they're so much up here as opposed to like just the feeling of, yeah, I don't know. It's just different, different yeah. styles. I've always been, you know me, I've always been a little like cautious of how much I learn music, you know, like learning music. Cause I'd be like, man, I don't know, man. It might tinker with my spirit, but I love and respect people who do know the notes and who do, have that education or that knowledge because it is fire you know it is helpful mm. too but a balance is cool I, I i just did now i had this little uh job to make uh like a soundtrack for a was like a youtube video uh it's like a part my parkour friend he uh, he make like a chase scene like it's a it's like a p, uh, point of view and he's he's running uh, uh, and he's chased by by monsters people that's wearing masks and stuff like that and i was gonna make the uh, the soundtrack for it so i i tried to uh to use more like just things that i had here they uh, it, it just to, to make this horror ambience i t- took like the uh, in the sink i put the the water up like there'll be like a transition or and the the drums i use my teeth like like that uh and it becomes like a little bit like skeleton skeletal sort of horror feel and uh, made a yeah like 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 those sort of things i've just uh, trying to experiment with those and I mean 
a lot of knowledge i'm sure is can, that you can gather in that university there because uh, i mean we we that that started practicing music from in just this program it's it's i mean that's our concept probably of of, of music but that, that's just like this tiny little window sure well i mean i can say for me though i have at least i mean i definitely still base mostly oops based mostly in the in the computer and in the the program but i like as far as hip-hop goes i was blessed at least in my city to have a lot of older um like real rooted rooted artists if that makes sense just like with strong roots and see a little more of that so i'm grateful for that for sure but yes yeah, it's, it's a different thing there you know i mean they're they their producers is working on all hardware you know this and that where i'm like i'm punching the j key to get my notes sometimes or whatever whatever dragging the piano keys myself and all these other things which is cool too i mean it don't matter how you get there as long as you get it where you want it but um yeah it's different 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 uh different levels to the game i don't know i like i like to be open to all avenues i'm definitely been saying this but want to get into more hardware stuff like playing with we got this loop pedal it does all these crazy delays and reverbs you can like it's, it's custom you're doing it with your hands or your toes whatever you need and, and then spinning the mic and mm. it's just a different vibe you know having real delays and of course whatever i've learned in in in, in through programs through fl like delay and reverb i understand it so i i can tweak these knobs and have an understanding of what i'm doing but it's so fun when you're doing it in real life. You yeah. just got to be be careful not to overdo it because it's like super trippy, like yeah, yeah, yeah. shimmer reverb with a triple ping pong delay, and it just can get out of hand if you don't <laughs> like just just like, to toss it in a little bit. It's fun, man. Yeah. Man, I was like, man, we should. I, I like to hear more about like your music mind you know now that we started talking about like we should have talked about this for like an hour like the music mind because everyone works so differently so like they hear like the making a drum from a tooth you know like yeah. i could already i could already feel it i mean because obviously i heard it i could already feel like oh yeah that'd be a different whole different vibe um was i gonna say oh yeah now i'm starting to play with editing from starting this thing it's like pretty basic because it's just two people talking but i do the little intros or whatnot and play with editing sounds and the more i play with videos i start throwing music in them all of a sudden all these old beats that i have these old dusty ass beats uh. i start using them and i'm like oh these are fire like they might not have been the one at the time they weren't like whatever but they have a vibe to them and they and when you start playing with video like oh this was made for this you know like i pull an yeah, old yeah, beat i'll open a random folder you, you and just did Oh, well, now I get the uh, visit. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey. 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 Um, jag har en liten... Uh, Is your mom? Yeah. Is it Rome? Hi. I had tell her I had that I had that sarong she gave me for so long, but I lost it now. Just recently, I lost it. I had that thing for years. It was my favorite. I, I, I'll say that you got one of the sarongs that he had, that was his favorite. Yes, yes. Yeah, you have this. You have a podcast. So he plays in there. We talk. We just finish that. Yeah. Maybe. We gotta close it. Yeah, let's sign it off, man. Go be be with be with your mama. I'm uh I'm glad you get to spend time with your mom, man. That's a, probably the dopest thing about Sweden is your your mom's there. Yeah, it's uh, was a long time since you met your mother, your parents. I haven't seen my mom in three years, almost going on three years. Oh. Yeah, and even then, like in the past five to ten years it's been just sprinkled in you know what i mean because i'm usually not home for too long so it's been it has its challenges you know we still talk on the on the phone you know the little video calls or whatsapp and whatnot but it's hard for her she hasn't met her grandkids yet so. 
Oh. Mama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's that's the that's the thing that my my mother cried about. <laughs> right. When you told me that, I was it like, was, it, it was just. Uh, it's a big choice. It really is to to really choose a family and a and a whole whole life across the world from your family. It's like, like you said, it's a big decision. I had to make it. That was the only decision. That's what I did, and that's what I'm 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 grateful for it. And but yeah, bless blessings to the mamas, man. It's, it's tricky, and I'm sure she already cries enough just having you be gone so much. You know, that's her baby, just gone all the time making music and fucking yogi karta well wow, that's cool man yeah let's sign off man you go you go you go spend some time with your mama bro grateful so grateful to talk to you always you know i'm gonna check in with you very soon we'll be in touch same man. anytime oh wait oh wait wait before you go bro you gotta give it to us Oscar, tips to keep the dream alive. What is your tips for us to keep the dream alive? Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's many, many things. Like one, one of the things I would maybe, maybe I would say is like sometimes you go, uh, you, it is a roller coaster. You go like up and down. Or sometimes you like, like when you feel like you don't achieve so much or you, uh, uh, you start doubt, doubting yourself or like what's the real path or anything or maybe maybe you start uh, trying to you know for the money to do something else uh, like put put your eggs in some other baskets or how, how do you say like that but for me it's always like this red line that it's no it's no no other choice like even if if, if I do all these, all other things, like the things that that interest me. They always take all my, uh, always steals my attention all the time, and sometimes they, uh, I'm forced to uh, to uh, do something else for some time or whatever. But it's never a choice for it, for me. It feels like that that uh, all of them leads up to the same to the same goal. Uh, and to remember that that even if it sometimes doesn't feel right like i mean you've got you've you've been born with that that feeling whatever feeling that's pulling you in a certain direction like even if you you go to a completely it feels like a completely different direction it's still like that force is just pulling you there anyway and you connect these dots that you've made like because you took that other path like it's that's that i mean that's a cliche but i mean you you learn from everything but uh, but I mean even in the in the moments where you feel like it's uh, not uh, the 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 road that you thought you were gonna go it doesn't work out for you and you are forced to take another one the probability is probably bigger that you will will end up there anyway in 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 an unknown mm. amount of time later. <laughs> Yep. It's all on the path. Yeah, man. All right, bro. Bongi. Love you, bro. I'm going to sign it off. Peace and blessings. Give my regards to your mom again. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon, bro. Yeah. Take care, man. Peace. See bro. you soon. Yeah. Glass. <laughs> Don't 
Tuang satu lagi baru kita tarik gas Beat pukul keras bongi punya ciri khas Lapa kosong lapa pas ku hajar macam adik kelas Jijik kerja mimpi lawan arus deras Masuk ku tanah rimba tanpa kom Merintis jalan baru kadang harus ganas